The RX 500 series GPUs have gained more and more proof leading to their validity. This time we're seeing benchmarks and clocks, so stay tuned. I've wanted to get this out for a couple days, but more and more topics kept coming up. That doesn't make this any less important, but first guys, don't forget to subscribe and check out the giveaway down below. It's super simple. Just click the link in the description and there's quite a few ways to add entries for more chances to win. Alright, so let's get right into the story. The first leak comes from 3 d Mark results that show the processor running at an overclock speed of 1500 MHz. If this is a factory overclock, that's not bad as the 480 only gets roughly, say, 1400 MHz while giving it all it's got. Unfortunately, that Fire Strike Extreme score does still put this at a refresh of the current player's 10400 series. With that said, if it's priced the same or possibly lower as some people are saying, it should be a great upgrade for those who have older cards in the 400 series. <coughs> My 660 behind me. <laughs> I know, it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> Let me shut up. The higher clocks obviously point to a more efficient node, which is good news and has some people thinking it's running off Samsung's 14 nanometer fin FET LPP process. Either way, some boost in performance should lend the 580 to an even better position than it already has to take on the 1060. It also looks to come stock with an 8-pin connector this time around, which should certainly help with overclocks. Oddly enough, we've gotten leaks for the 580, 570, and 550, but haven't seemed to see anything for the 560. Even a new report from video cards where they got their hands on the launch driver for the 500 series doesn't show a 560. And speaking of that launch driver, apparently the new code name for the 580 and 570 will be Polaris 20. And oddly enough, Lexapro for the 550. Yeah. Obviously, these aren't really anything but internal naming and have little to do with the actual consumer product naming scheme, but I don't know. It was kind of funny. Back to the benchmarks we've seen. The RX 570 was overclocking to 1325 MHz and got 5719 points on 3D Mark, while the 580 got 6675. One thing to note is that the 570 has gotten a memory boost to 7 GHz DDR5. Not a huge difference, but it's enough to warrant pointing out. It was also tested with both 4 and 8 GB of memory. Lastly, the 550 was running at 1190 MHz. So what does this all mean? Well, for one, the RX 500 is certainly a refresh and doesn't have anything like HBM, though no one really should have expected that at such a low cost. Of course, I know some were hoping AMD would do something crazy, like come to market with Vega running at 1080 speeds at half the cost, but I just, I have no doubt they're going to try to undercut Nvidia, but there's just no way they could do it that low, and especially without undercutting their own line. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem we'll be getting a less confusing lineup either, like all the cards coming under the same moniker, but I digress. The good news is, for those wanting a great mid-range card, the RX 500 series is sure to offer it. Rumors point somewhere between an April 11th to 18th release. So what do you think of the RX 500 series? Are you excited? Ready to hop on the 580 train? It's certainly going to be a great card just like the 480 is, but offering more overclocks could really be the nail in the coffin for the 1060. One last thing before I end the video. I have a really awesome update for all of you. I just received my first review unit from a company. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's really exciting. As I know, plenty of bigger channels get that all the time. They play like a warehouse just to receive stuff. No, I'm not, not many people are that big. But anyway, I just wanted to thank everyone again for all your support. And I'll be doing a review on it soon. And don't worry, I did let them know up front before they even shipped it that I won't be biased and certainly will point out any misgivings. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.